I go there? <laughs> well, he made me think. I'm like, yeah, I, got, I, wanna, I wanna try to see what's in there. All right. Just be natural, guys, but I'm doing an RBT. Yes, sir. The uh, devotional. I didn't give him a devotional last night. Uh, you you're doing it right now. But I'm sitting here with Sister Diana, with Johnny, and... Pastor... Dang, Pastor, Pastor Alex! Pastor Alex, <laughs> yes. Our good, faithful, Lake Tahoe pastor. Yeah, so... um. So we got back so late last night. No, it's all right. We're just sitting here talking. Just being mad. The camera's only on me. Okay. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Good morning, family. So I um, it was so late last night, and uh, today's day two of the conference, and I come downstairs. Coffee's already brewed. Johnny and Dan already in their Bibles. There's Veronica walking in. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor. Oh, but you gotta get used to it. <laughs> sure, you gotta respect that. So, um, just thought we're gonna head out in a little bit to. Oh, let me show you guys this um, little packet we got. Look, it's a folder. Grace International Leadership Conference. And then inside a bunch of little stuff, information. You know what is in here? The date for Oceanside. Yeah, I've seen that. I saw you it did? Yeah. Even mm-hmm. for next year. Yeah. Oh, yeah, April 10th. They get you ready, yeah. April 8th to 10th. But then we should have a. I wonder if they'll let us get this exact one. Huh? Oh, yeah. The same part? I know. September 18th through 19th. It's two days in Oceanside. Oh, wow. September 18th and 19th. It's two days? Yeah. Remember because it's a regional? Yeah. That one we could drive to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll drive that one. You could all have a hybrid right there. Yeah. kids. But that way we bring more people. Yeah. Airbnb in that one. Yeah. yeah. We, spend a lot we usually get the hotel, but it's better like this. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot, man. Yeah. The um the first time I went though, me and Sharon, we rented a Airbnb over there. And it was about like Marcos. Remember you guys remember Marcos? Marcos and his wife. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh who else went? He went with you? Yeah. I can't remember who, man. Oh, uh uh Ray and Ray and Tina. Ray and no, Tina. And Oscar. Well, those are the OGs right there. Oh, thank you, bro. So, I kind of interrupted their Bible study. No, you did But what verse are you guys looking at? We're in Proverbs 12, 18, and 19. Proverbs 12, 18, and 19. Is it? Yeah, but I was reading it. I'm going to let Sister Diana pick a verse here. Which one are we reading? I thought we were on 18, but now we went back to 12. So there's something. What 16. chapter? It's chapter 12. What is it? 18. Proverbs 12. Proverbs 12. Chapter 12. Oh. All right. Let's see. Proverbs 12. Proverbs 12, 18, and 19. The one that we just read. Oh, that's a good one, though. Yeah, it is. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on, somebody. Okay. Proverbs 12, 18, and 19? 18 and 19, yes. There is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Mm. Truthful lips endure forever. Mm. But a lying tongue is... But a moment. Wow. Look at that. The, there is one whose rash words are like swords. Mm. It's true, though, man. When somebody is harsh, yeah. it hurts. Like, it hurts your heart. You know what I mean? Like The words. And, you, and then how you, how you speak, too, because... And I think we do it. 
We sometimes, do. Sometimes I'll, I'll respond to somebody else, but respond to my wife sometimes. Oh, I'm my like, God. And I'm you like, know? oh, man. Why well, I say that? Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes, like, we're men, and we're used to talking to another man, and sometimes we... <laughs> I'm just like, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. I didn't want to even glance that way. You, know what? you are so right, Pastor, because my wife tells me, hey, don't, I'm not your homeboy. <laughs> no, I are you been telling you? Yeah, I so yeah she does tell me. You're not locked up no more. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk to me. But it's hard. It's hard because... No, I don't think I've had something. To say that. But you know what I mean, though. Yeah. But I think that even, even within ministry, though, within church... There are times where I might have said something, not realizing, like, um, oh, um, like I'm so okay. You guys know I'm in a hurry before Sunday service. Yes, yes. And sometimes somebody would come talk to me, and like something's wrong in the media, the mic ain't working, this or that, and my brain somewhere else, and then I'll probably respond like because I'm in a hurry. A real fast response. But boom, it hurt them. Of course. You know, and I'm just like, man, I didn't mean that. Like. I didn't mean it, wow, you know? Yeah. I was just... But I think this is more intentional, though. This isn't accidentally. This is like you when somebody is just cruel. You know, like, it says there is one whose rash words are like sword thrusts, but the tongue of the wise... Brings healing. Brings healing. Mm, mm. That and, takes me with the kids. Huh? I feel like the kids that in our youth group, they, get, they don't get much love or much... Acknowledgement, appreciation, and feelings. Yeah. So if their parents are constantly telling them, Just "Why are you doing this? You're doing this." Everything they don't like about it. And they're back and back all day long, every single day. And then they come to the youth group, and we're like, "Dude, you're doing good. You know, and we're proud of you. Yeah. You know, God, God loves you. He, he knows it, it, you're trying, and it, and that just lifts your spirits up. Just by telling them a few words. You know, I've heard. They say not to tell kids, like, I never do this, but I've heard people, like, tell kids they're stupid or they're dumb. Right. Oh, because when they get older, they... You tear them down. Yeah. Or and even, they'll believe it. Or even if they're, the like, person. living the world and stuff and, and, you know, like, they're drinking and stuff. And if you tell them, like, you know what? You're never going to amount to anything. Yeah. Wow. That yeah. stays... You're speaking, that, you're speaking death. The future, yeah. 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 You know, that makes sense because a, a brother had came... I don't want to say no name, but... I could I could tell yeah. that um, he already stumbled, and he's hurting, but he's trying to get a phone from me. And then just you, can, you know, God speaking to me, yeah. man, pray for this guy. He needs prayer. Yeah, I go, hey brother, would you like some prayer? Well, yeah. I go, let me tell you something, man. I'm gonna love you like Jesus does. I'm gonna let you know right now. I go, I'm not gonna nail that nail deeper. I'm gonna pull that nail out. Yeah, you need to get back up and just you know, I'm not just get up, brother. Yeah. Take it to God right now. And that guy just cried and says, you know what? Thank you, bro. Yeah. I go, because any, anybody else is going to keep blaming you, blaming you. Look what you did. Look what you did. But let's pull that nail off and, and uplift that brother. And that's what I did that day. Yeah. And it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Because that's what we should do. Like, who are we to, to judge? I even told him, I go, who am I to judge you? What well, comes down, like, are we going to are we gonna speak life or speak death? Yeah. yeah. What are you gonna do? We have a choice every single day, you know, and um, it's a choice all the time. Every conversation is a choice. Everything, you know, and you know, and it makes a difference. Yeah, I like the the fact that the tongue of the wise brings healing. You know, there's 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 wise people that I there's wise people at the conference that I look up to. Oh wow, yeah, there's wise because they speak there. wisdom. You know what I mean? Like I got emotional when I saw Thomas. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, I like give him a hug. Yeah, yeah so you know. Guys, Pastor Thomas is there. Pastor Moses is there. George. Pastor George is there. Everybody yeah. that that we do missions, yeah. that we do missions <laughs> to. see what I did. <laughs> he put um, Thomas as the husband and, and George's, George's wife, wife together. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, no, 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 no. I got confused, man, because I know them, but it's been a while since I've yeah. seen them. Guys, for those of you that give to missions, I'm going to make sure um, to record them saying hello to you guys, each of them, Pastor George, Pastor Moses, and uh, Pastor Thomas. Oh, yeah. But now that they're in the States, they're each going to come up, so we're trying to figure out a schedule. I want to get Thomas oh, to you guys, yeah. too. Uh, like... Three weeks. Weeks. They go Tahoe. Four weeks. Yeah, they'll be here in a while. Huh? Huh? That would be neat. They go to Tahoe too. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get Pastor Moses 
I have them for five days. Yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah. Is it Moses? Moses, Uganda. I thought George was coming. I haven't, I haven't talked to him. I don't know. I, gotta I asked him. He go, I asked him. He goes, "Yep, I'm coming to house arrest." That's what he said, but I don't know when. They have open door invites all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's a trip how they know what church you're from. He kept saying, you're from house arrest. Huh? Yeah. I said, yeah. <laughs> yeah <don't>. Exactly. <laughs> Looks like a house arrest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that, 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 that's the we stopped. In oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, so we... um. We went in uh, to the conference on day one yesterday. It was the first day of conference, and it was the, uh, the ordination and licensing. You know, mm-hmm. and it was pretty cool. The way Grace International, what did they say? It's been around 80, 80 something years. Mm, a lot of years. Eighty nine. I don't know. It was a long. A lot of years. It was back in. Yeah, 80, 89 years. Grace International has been around, and. Um, so the way they have uh, their licensing is um, they have a first, what's it called? The, the pastor development. development. Pastor development is the first stage, which is that's what you guys did. And then there's a general license and then there's ordination. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty neat, you know. Um, right. It was really neat and, and beautiful to see. Because not only were we celebrating um, Alex and Veronica, we were celebrating Ted and his yeah. wife, mm-hmm. and um, that was cool. Kevin. Kevin from Reno. Yeah, Kevin from Reno, and uh, um, Ted from Yarrington, with Pastor Rick, and uh, that was so cool. And we met all kinds of different we, people that we didn't even know before. Like, we, yeah. we, we met some from um, from Oregon, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's right. What, what did he tell you guys? I they saw were, him. They we, invited me to got, their church when I go. But your to son lives in that town. Yes. Yeah. So, around he, the corner. Yeah. Right around the corner. They're Tri Cities. So you had no idea there was a Grace Church close to Grace. Well, well that one guy kept, got to meet him. He kept uh, telling us, he goes, he goes, oh, John. he goes, John, he goes, I want you to meet the ones that live right there next to your kids. Yeah. 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 And, and then he came up and uh, his wife and, and Diana, they, they just clicked. This is good. Yeah. I know. The ones are better. <laughs> they just clicked, so they switched numbers. Mm. And uh, as, soon as, as soon as Diana gets up there, man, yeah. So he introduced himself to you? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Just because the other one told them that you had a son over there. Yeah. They were like, see, see, that's what I love about Grace, man. Yeah. They're just like... And they're because like, I got to hook you up with them. So when you go up there, you can get your son and their family to go visit the church. And I yeah. go, awesome. They're, they're like, they're natural, man. Just like... How far is it from your son? They, five they, minutes. Are you said, serious? That's what she said, about five minutes. But the way she the the way she conducted herself, it was like she's awesome. She's like one of us at our church. She's so cheerful. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, just being herself. Who's that? The lady. Oh, you met the wife too. Yes. Yeah. Look, look, she, well, my wife goes, "Let me take a picture of you for for the phone number," and she did it like you know, it it, it was just so so natural. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, just to have someone like that. To so be, the coolest thing yesterday was because uh, it's um, the convention started. The conference started at night, but yesterday in the day, they had the board meeting, and um, I'm part of the board in the Northern District. You know, I don't really talk about that. I never tell people I'm part of the board, but uh, the way they sat me is next to me was Pastor Rick, who's part of our district is in Reno, so if you live in Reno, you got to go visit Pastor Rick. Mm-hmm. If you don't have a church, and you're in the Reno area, go visit Pastor Rick. He's so awesome. Yeah. And um, but to the left of me was uh, another pastor, and I saw his tag because everybody has tags. Yeah, everybody has tags like these. Like this is Sharon's thing. So um, it says you're where you're from in the bottom, and he said Dinuba, and it sounded so familiar. Oh, wow. But I didn't want to ask, so I looked at my GPS, and it looked it was like right next to Fresno. So I'm like. I said, hey, I noticed your text is Dinuba. I said, is there a reason we don't know each other? I said, because we're, I think we're the closest church to you. He goes, where are you, where are you guys at? I said, Modesto. And he goes, Modesto. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, man, and that meeting was how long? Seven hours? Oh, my God. Yeah. It went over. Yeah. It was supposed to be 930 to 12. 
I told Alex and Veronica to pick me up at 12. I didn't get out of there till almost 4. And, uh, man, I apologize again, man. That was crazy. But, um, anyways, the guy left to me ended up being the district superintendent of Central California. And uh, we hit it off. And then finally, uh, we met his wife. And, uh, you know, so we all ate together after after the conference. They had a... What was that, Popeyes? Chicken yeah. nuggets. Like, yeah. like from where? Chick-fil-A, Popeyes? It was Chick-fil-A. Was it really? Yes. That was Chick-fil-A. It was, really, Chick -fil -A. It was really good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah, like like Chick-fil-A yeah. little nuggets or something. And uh, they had a whole lot of it. Hey, Gio, it was good. Yeah, huh? Gio <laughs> ate like a, like a five-gallon drum of it. And um, That's good. he tore it up, though. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, yeah. My kind of buffet. What? <laughs> um, anyways, we hit it off with him, and I look forward to. Uh, I want to meet him for dinner or something. Get to know them. Man. How far is Diamond Bow from? Ah, oh, good question. Is it is it be before or after? After, like by Selma, they said. Oh, it's after. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Well, from... it ain't that far because if we go up to Tahoe. Oh yeah, it, it ain't that far, brother. It's only a few hours. What? Two hours? Two. Yeah, let's two see. and a half hours. Yeah. Let me check this here. Because from, from there to Merced, Merced Merced and Fresno are close, you know? You got you got um Las Bottles Liv Livingston. Oh her. that's who she is? Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. And that's so her I, church. That's so it's Coos Bay? Yeah, Coos yeah, Bay, so North Bay. Coast Life Church. And in it's on Oregon. Bay. Yeah. Guys, if you are in Coos Bay, Oregon. Yes. You got to go to our Grace Church over there. It's called Coast Life Church. Coast Life Church. Church. Coast Life Church. We yeah. Look them up right now. Oh, look, from the church, the Dinuba's two hours away exactly. Jeez, about two hours. Because I told them, I said, we'll meet in Fresno. Yeah. Go have dinner or something, get to know more. What's a trip is that his wife is related to O.C. Harms, who is the founder of Grace International. Oh, wow. I think that was her grandpa. Wow. That was crazy. So, um, man, Sharon woke up, her feet hurting. Guys, she was, she did so good on the choir. Yes, she did. But they had them standing that whole time. And an hour. Just and then an hour before. Huh? The first thing she said when she woke up was, my feet hurt. What, what would happen? Did you use that giant filter? You can use the little one again. Oh. You gotta toss them. Why did it go over? Oh, what was that church called, sister? Oh, Coast, Coast Life. Coast Life Church. Coast. Oh, there it is. It was on top. It's on D Street. Yeah, 190 D Street. Uh huh. Okay, Oregon. So if you're in the Oregon area, this is our Grace Church in Oregon. Yeah, they're really nice people. Oh man, this phone's too bright. They are really nice people. I didn't get to talk to them. Coast Life Church. They're real spunky. In Coos Bay. 190 D uh, Coos Bay. Church. Grace in Houston. Mm -hmm. Call us. Grace Woodland. Oh, not and then it has their whole for this one that yeah. they're part of Grace, Grace International. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Well, I'm looking at something different. So. Um, I what it was. Yeah. But yeah, man. Back to the verse. Um, right here it yeah. says, it's "Truthful, truthful it's lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment." Yeah. Is there is a Grace International yeah. page too? On where? On Facebook, because uh, last we were, night, we were, I Grace Woodman. we were trying to figure out so we could see it live. I, I didn't know they live streamed. We, we, we couldn't yeah. find it. We were looking all over. my arm was. Like, it didn't was have the an phone. ad for it. But we had, we had, we just went live. But we had the one the day before. Huh? Yeah, we had. We had the day before. The That's one. the day that we didn't. Did we go? We didn't go. Huh? What day before? I guess Not before the before Sunday we got service. Here, the Sunday service. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The day we got here. Okay, let's get back on track. So basically, guys, um, don't be a sword. Don't be a sword, you know, and, and tear people down. Come on. Yes. Um, yes. You know, and, and just 
every day and be like, man, I don't want to tear somebody down today. I want to build somebody up. It's easy to tear things down. Mm-hmm. Like when people do, like, uh, I know um, when people do, do like, they're going to redo a kitchen. Yeah. The easy part is the demolition. Taking it all out. Yeah. Taking it down. The demolition. But the demolition could take minutes. Like if you want to redo this kitchen to tear down those covers, an hour. oh, real quick. an hour. But how about to build it back up? About a week. About a week. Yeah. So, the easy route is to tear people down. The hard way is to build people up. But tearing a kitchen down benefits nobody. Yeah. But building a kitchen up now you have room for covers. Now you have a sink. Now you have a counter. Now you can cook things on the counter. Now you can you know so build people up in their life, you know? And, um, and that's why, to me, that's what I see when it says, um, truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. You know, last thing it makes me think about is Jesus told the people that were against him. He says, your father's a devil. Yeah. And they, and they, and he says, your father's a devil and, um, your is Satan. And when he speaks, he speaks lies. Mm. That he, when he speaks lies, he speaks his own language, because hey. Satan's a liar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, wow. but what does Jesus say? I am the truth. I am the truth. Yes. So if Satan has no truth in him, then Jesus has no lying in him. Mm. Yeah. So which one are we acting like? Mm. Think about it like that. Wow, that's deep. You know, which one are we being? You know, because I don't want to. I don't want to. You know how a child will uh, will mimic their parents. Yes. If you're always cussing and cussing, guess what the kids are gonna yeah. do? They're gonna be cussing, cussing. But look at the kids now that are in, at our church. They're growing up here in worship. Yeah. They're grabbing little flags and worshiping because that's what they're learning. They're even kneeling down. Yeah. Like, so. Whoa. So who are we acting like? Are we acting like Satan? Because if we are, then he's our father. No, we're mimicking Jesus. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it comes down to because. And they're, they're, they're doing the same because they're watching us. Truthful lips endure forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. Wow. Deep. Yeah. Guys, this is, um, we just wanted to hang out with you guys, share with you. We apologize for not doing a devotional for this morning, but it's still early. Because it's really 720 still in California. Yeah. Oh, wow. I so know. I can still get in a devotional right now. <laughs> Somebody's watching me on the way to work. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, well, it's not live, but I'm going to upload it right now. So, all right, guys, uh, we're getting ready. We're going to go back to day two of the conference. They have um, some sessions going on this morning. And then we're going to come back to the house. I'll do a devotion. I'll make sure to get it in because then there's a service tonight. Uh, I'm hoping to see Sonia and JD. They said Tuesday. Oh, they're oh here. that's awesome. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, so Amen. hopefully. And then uh, tomorrow, we're actually going to minister at a prison in, in Texas yeah. here. We're going to meet uh, the chaplain, uh, Brother Julio. And uh, we're going to spend the day with him and uh, go to the prison. We got clearance weeks ago. And all of us, all seven of us, got clearance to go in. And that's going to be interesting. Uh my understanding is roughly 200 inmates, 200 men we're going to minister to in the chapel. And our main focus, I can't take my phone in. Nobody can take our phones in, guys. Um, I do think Julio got permission to take a camera in, but not his phone, just a regular camera. If that's so, I can't wait to share those pictures. Um, but, yeah, guys, it's uh, our whole thing is not to preach to them. Our, high, our whole thing is because I'm sure they get preachers all the time, mm-hmm. but the fact that all three of us have, have prison time behind us and now we're serving God, yes. my objective is to give them hope yes. that they too can come out and and serve God and and be it's husbands. Successful. And yeah, you know, and well, you like you, you basically have your own business. Yes. Um, you know, uh, Alex has his own business. I mean, look at that. Out of out of incarceration, out of prison, and people think like you're never amount to nothing. You, you just can't make it. No. Yeah, and I think we it's our job to give these men hope because in prison, man, you lose hope. Yes, right? You do. Yes. How many, you do. how many years you got in? Twenty seven years. Johnny, twenty seven. How many sentences? Twenty 
Because you didn't do that straight. No, the longest one I did was nine years straight. Man, ooh. Mm -hmm. It's a long time. Yeah, that one kind of like made me feel kind of weird, you know? That hurt, yeah. Because every time I went to the yard, I'm like, man, I only got a year in. You know, I'm like, whoa, you know? Yeah. But then after your third year, you start getting what's called um, institutionalized. institutionalized. And I started just like, okay. So I started adapting and trying to find a way where I can just do this time because I have no choice. I'm not going to get out. Yeah. And I did it, you know. It's, At first, you're in denial. You're in denial. Big At thing. least me. I'm no, just I'm like, not. nah, I'm not going to do this time. I'm not going to do this time. Like no. something's going to happen or emotion's going to pass. or And then after a few years, you're just like, yeah, I'm, it, I'm it, here. I'm here. So you, you, have, <laughs> to, you have to find a, a way, a way to do each day. You know, how are you going to do this? What are you going to do, you know? Yeah. But you, you, you learn a way to do it, you know? Yeah. That's a good thing to talk about. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you opened that yeah. up because, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so Johnny has 27 years. I have six years under me. I'm not sure how Alex... 12, I think. 12? Alex has 12 years under... And a couple sentences or one? A few, yeah. And yeah. 17, close to 17 years out now. Wow. 2009. 17 years out? 2009, December 20th. You had it in 09? Oh nine, yeah. Alex's last time was twenty ten. Oh, it was five? Yeah, twenty ten. Oh, he's right by me. Yeah, dude, I got January. Yeah, two thousand ten. I remember when you got out. Alex, yeah, Alex is like May twenty ten. Uh -huh. Wow, so we, all three of us got out roughly within months. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what's so crazy? Wow. I, was, I was five days before Christmas. I was five, December twentieth. So your mom was happy. Oh man, it, it felt so weird when I went in the house. Like, whoa, you know, when yeah. you first get out, I was like, wow. It feels weird. Dude, the first time I walked into my parents' house, I cried. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. That's I'm just like, I never, I, you, because, just because you have a sentence don't mean you're going to come home, guys. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're going to come home. And I'm not talking about just buying, it's just people that die of cancer in there. Yeah. There's people who just die. It's true. And, and I reached a point where I said, I, I will never walk in my parents' house ever again. I will never eat my mom's food ever again. Wow. So the first time I stepped into that, that little house that my parents had, man, I started bawling. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times in prison as men, you hold it in. But now like in the, in your home, in, not your home, but where you grew up. Yes. Like you finally just release all those emotions, you know, and I felt like I, I felt like six years of crying came out. Yeah. Feels you know? good too, though. Release. Yeah. It's a release. And then see my mom's face. Oh man! You know, just and, and my dad, you know, just beautiful moments, guys. And but yeah, we're gonna go talk to the the guys in prison, <clears throat> and um, that's gonna be a blessing. Yeah. Uh, there is conference on Wednesday, but I didn't want to pass this opportunity mm -hmm. to. I know we're here to get poured into, guys, but if we have a chance to pour into these men, then we're gonna do it. Yeah. You know, it's all for Jesus. Everything's for the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Wow, it's King Jesus. Yeah. King Jesus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get <laughs> it's crazy because we're over here trying to get poured into, and I'm just like, nah, let's go to the prison to pour out. Did you hear that shirt? Team Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's like cash. So, and then I'm excited because Julio's wife is uh, making menudo. Oh, oh, I get that. I was dreaming when I heard that. No, nah, he said she's going to make menudo. So. Yeah, I like a shirt. They're originally from Visalia. No. All the way from up there? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's how he knew about me, because he... Are supposed to bring this to me? Yeah, Every day. All the time, yeah. He's a chaplain. You can bring my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some answers. We need an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> we, um... I need it, <laughs> We have, uh... I mean, Julio, brother Julio is uh, the chaplain, and he... There's a bunch of chaplains, and they send them out throughout prisons in Texas. And uh, but Julio recommended me last year because he grew up in Visalia, which is in Northern California. So he grew up with my music, so he knew who I was. And he invited us last year, if you guys remember. And then uh, the church House of Rest, we actually took a pledge to um, get their their um, projector, you know, at their church. So 
really excited to to see these men. I'm probably gonna be a lot of different men, but I'm hoping to see some of the ones that I met last year. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna end this. I want to upload this so you guys can see it. God bless you. Uh, when we come back, because our today is um, from 9:30, which is oh happening right now to 12 30 then we come back to the house here and then we go back at seven at night so i'm going to make sure to get a devotional in there that way you guys have one for tomorrow morning maybe uh i want to do a members only uh live also so uh, anyways guys god bless you thank you so much and thanks for hanging out with us